So how do chronic lung diseases lead to higher blood pressure? Now, some of the chronic lung diseases include uh, cystic fibrosis, asthma, bronchitis, emphysema. All of these lung diseases have one thing in common. The lung is not working as efficiently as a suit there is less gas exchange that is happening in your lung. That means the oxygen levels in the blood will go down. Now, just imagine that um, you are being suffocated. If someone tries to suffocate you underwater, when the oxygen level in the blood goes down, the body interprets that as an emergency situation as a danger situation. So, your sympathetic nervous system will be activated and that means your heart rate and the, the heart will be beating a lot faster and harder. And that means your blood pressure will go up. And the problem with these lung diseases is they stay with you. If you have emphysema it stays with you if you have cystic fibrosis it stays with you if you have chronic bronchitis it doesn't go away if you have asthma uh, with management it should be better but a lot of the time it doesn't go away so that means that the oxygen level that's going that's in your blood will remain low when you have these chronic lung diseases and that means that the sympathetic nervous system will remain activated and that means your blood pressure will have to go up so that the brain and other parts of your body can get the oxygen supply that they need to function properly so that is how those lung diseases lead to higher blood pressure also, another thing about asthma, a lot of young kids have asthma. Now, if you are young and you have asthma, that means you have a much, much greater chance of getting high blood pressure and heart disease in later life. So, make sure you have to get your asthma treated properly.